Okay, my next guest is a nutritionist and New York Times Well Blog contributor who has written a very personal memoir about the relationship between family and food. Welcome the author of My Fat Dad, Don Lerman. Hi, Don. How are you? Hi, it is so nice to be here. Good morning. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Thank you so much. So every childhood memory that you have is attached to food. Yes. Growing up, I used to tell my mother every memory is attached to food, and she's, that's the most ridiculous thing. I'm like, <laughs> and now as an adult, I tell my children, every memory I have as a child is attached to food, from the food that I love that my grandmother made to the mm -hmm. food that I felt like totally malnourished and unsatisfied, which was my dad's diet foods. Every week he was on a new diet, whether it was right. Atkins or Pritikins. Mm -hmm. And every week he would bring home like a cardboard, like boring, right. tasting, you know, tasteless, calorie-free object, right. you know, and he'd be like, look, it has no calories, no fat, no carbs. <laughs> and my grandmother would be like, of course, you're going to fail on this diet because it has no taste and no flavor. Right, right. And in contrast, the memory of walking into my grandmother's kitchen mm -hmm. and the amazing aroma of like chicken soup and so dill that, so that and muffins. So that what got you in, into the healthy food, right? Is that kind of was the... I was only two years old at the time. All, it was only just a memory. It was just like a feeling that just kind of overwhelmed me, like the feeling of having food food that had no smell or taste and mm -hmm. walking into my grandmother's house and kind of like tasting the love that was right. from her fresh ingredients right, and it's right. something that always stayed with me. Wow. So you, um, I guess, I guess you're, then you can say your grandmother was a big part of your, your, your passion for eating. Well, healthy, yeah, as right? I said, I grew up with a dad who was 450 pounds wow. and every di week he was on a new diet. Mm -hmm. And so my grandmother was like, diet don't work. The only thing that works is cooking food with fresh ingredients okay. because that'll fill you up and it'll nourish you from the inside out. Mm. You know, it'll nourish you not only physically, but emotionally. Right. And her words always stayed with me. And when mm. we were, when I was like three years old, I would mm. cook with her. And before we would make a meal, we go shopping during the day and we'd go see the butcher and the baker <laughs> and we'd go into the fish market. Right. And as we'd walk by the bakery, she'd be like, do you smell that? Mm. She'd be like, if you smell the food, it's worth it's worth tasting. It's worth tasting, it, right? It's worth tasting, right. But so, she's like, your di dad's food, it comes in a box. Right. And it, it just is, it's dead. Right, right. So I know that we have on the screen something mm -hmm. like a recipe that yeah. you put out. Um, so t tell me about some of the recipes, actually. So this is something that's, it's an eating healthy recipe? What? what? Well, the recipes in the book go mm -hmm. from traditional Jewish recipes that okay. were from both of my Jewish grandmothers. Mm -hmm. And as the book evolves, the story evolves, it's, you know, a memoir, it chronicles right. me from the age of three to 16. So okay. the recipes in the beginning, mm -hmm. there's a Kogel recipe, which we're going to talk about, okay. which is my grandmother's. But mm -hmm. as an adult and a nutritionist, now I'm a nutritionist, I've remade some of the classic recipes. So you, you could still have all the memories and all the flavor with like a bit more nutrition. Okay. So in my grandmother's Kogel, I still make it, but I use a whole wheat noodle. Instead of I butter, see. I use coconut oil, which okay. is full of great omega-3 fatty right. acids. Mm -hmm. I add some flax seeds. Mm -hmm. I use some, you know, yogurt, which is a great probiotic. Right. So it's, you still have the same dish with the same amazing flavor and all mm -hmm. the tradition and memories is there. I just kind of amp up the nutrition by swapping a couple of ingredients. Okay, so um, so the book, you, you have, yeah. you, how long has the book been out, really? Uh, the book has been out a couple of months. Okay. It's almost a book anniversary. Right. How's it doing? The book is doing great. It's okay. been in the New York Times and the Post and the mm -hmm. Daily News. Okay. And I think it's a, an appealing story because it's not a story about just nutrition. My dad was right. 450 pounds. Now he's 210 pounds and vegan. Okay. It's about how he got there, how our family was involved in this journey, and how it affected each member of my family in a different way. Mm -hmm. um, so me, it affected me as a child. I read obsessively diet books. So my right. passion has always been nutrition. And I never had a problem with overeating mm -hmm. because one, I didn't want to be like my dad. Right. But two, I got all this amazing wisdom from my grandmother who spoke Mal Michael Pollan's words before Michael Pollan ever wrote, you know, the book. Right, right, right. But she had all these like great mantras like good food is not fast. Fast food is not good. That's right. And if you know how to make a pot of chicken soup, you can nourish yourself for life. Right. So so how is your dad doing, by the way? My dad is great. He's 210 pounds and Ooh, vegan. Right. But as you read in the book, it's a long journey and it took getting really sick before mm -hmm. he really made the connection between food and nutrition and, he, and learned that it's not about 
about diet. Okay. And like what I try and teach people um, in my book and mm -hmm. in my practice as a nutritionist, right. diets is die. You take it away, you take it away, you take it away, and there's right. nothing left. So you're right. hungry and you're ravenous, and then you cheat. Mm -hmm. But it's all about finding great superfoods to right. add in and learning to make traditional recipes healthier and kind of sitting back. Like what I tell my clients is, when you know they say, "What diet should I be on? How could I lose weight?" I'm right. like. What was your favorite memory growing up as a child? Right. And they're like, yeah. wow. Yeah. Like what was your favorite dish? Like, what do you remember your favorite meal? Mm. And then we kind of start with there because food is more than the carbs or the protein. It's about the memories and the love that is put into it. And wow. that's what you're putting into your body. And that's how you nourish yourself and your family. Right. So where can people get more information about you and your book? Well, my book is on Amazon. Right. So please check out My Fat Dad on Amazon.com. Uh -huh. My website is dawnlerman.net, right. and you could also check out my columns at the Well blog. So it's perfect. And all I'm right. on Twitter at, at Dawn Lerman. At Dawn. All right. Th thanks, Dawn. Appreciate it. Thank you so it. much. This was amazing. All Thank right, you so cool. much for having me. All right, guys. Don't go anywhere. Still ahead, some healthy snacks that will help boost your energy levels throughout the day when Healthy Lifestyle returns after the break. <laughs>